I loved your thoughts in your last video about how you change your perspective, how you overcome the regression fallacy and notice the little everyday moments along with the exceptions. And then you said, now what? When we open our eyes made for wonder, how does that change what we make and do and create? Good question. But I got a little distracted with that squirrel when you mentioned the idea of routine and random and how little actions chain together to create bigger and bigger and biggest changes. I'm paraphrasing, but it was something like that. A year and a half ago, I tried this thing called Tiny Habits. It's a method designed by BJ Fogg, who runs the Persuasive Tech Lab at Stanford University, and he has a model for habit formation that looks like this. The model basically says a habit relies on three things. Motivation, ability, and trigger. Say you want to run a marathon. If you're an all-star athlete with a rigorous training regimen and you've run a marathon before, your ability is probably pretty high. Even if you have low to moderate motivation, you can probably pull it off if you have the right trigger, say a friend who invites you to run with them. I, on the other hand, I'm not a runner. The longest race I've ever done was a color run 5k, which was more about accidentally inhaling colored cornstarch than it was about physical fitness. My marathon running ability? low. Now if I were super motivated and had the right trigger, I might be able to pull it off. But while I'm inspired by my runner friends, I'm not really motivated to run one myself. And motivation is hella hard to change. So BJ Fogg's Tiny Habits method focuses on habits that take 30 seconds or less and happen after a consistent trigger. This can lead to larger, sustainable change. And BJ isn't alone in thinking through behavior modification. People like Nir Eyal and behavioral economist Dan Ariely have been talking about behavior and habits for quite some time. The health and tech and business industries are embracing it too. Just Google quantified self and you'll find trackers for everything from sleep to steps to food intake to medications to who? There's an app for that. Part of the idea behind Quantified Self is that by collecting more data about ourselves, we gain self-knowledge and can improve our lives, often by tweaking behaviors. Which brings me all the way back to your thoughts about routine and ritual. When I was doing Tiny Habits, one of my Jewish friends said it reminded her of the rituals that are part of the Jewish faith. You wake up and say a certain prayer. You bless your meal. You wash your hands and say a blessing. You have a bedtime prayer. Daily and weekly rituals that make up a life of faith. This gets me wondering about the ethics of routine and ritual and behavior modification. When is designing for behavior a life-giving thing? And when does it become manipulative? So Jim, that's my bicoastal curiosity for the week. I look forward to hearing what you think about routine and ritual and changing behaviors. Talk to you soon. Bye. Still here. Squirrel.